Hey YouTube, Heplinger here, and welcome back to Civ Beyond Earth. If you remember last time we left off, we were, uh... Oh, we're positioning ourselves to attack, uh, what's our face down here in purple. And, um, also... We are trying to get through these last few turns to get Nano Robotics because I'm really curious to see, uh, once we've checked all those three check marks for the, uh, uh, Transcendence victory, what starts happening. I'm curious, considering that I've already built mine stems in some of my, you know, one or two cities, um, to see what, you know, have those been building victory points for me, or do I have to have these, uh, all these items checkmarked before? You know, did I, you know, what's the efficiency of that? Did I do it right? So, covert agent identified, Franco Iberia. Bonjour, mon ami. Yeah, okay, well, you're gonna get attacked again. And Slavic Federation. Why, why, why is it that when I click on this one, it doesn't give me that person? If I've identified it. And which one's Slavic? That is this guy. Alright, well, I've told you. Don't make me attack you. Because I will. For no good reason. Because <laughs> that's what I do. Alright, so in love. We should probably build... Wait, does that mean I've got a Titan? Oh, I do. How about that? We are ready to rock and roll there. Um, all Xeno Swarms, you know, Calvary. I think I want something with some range to it. Um... Which one? There we go. Shredder is our ranged. So let's just get another one of those going. Twelve turns. So that's going to take a minute. All right, our centaur down here needs a little suggestion as what to do. Um, what should we do? Let's see, okay, so got them positioned, them positioned. Um, okay, well, let's see. Should I declare war? Trying to figure out if I've got enough nearby. All she's really showing is artillery and one aircraft. Though there may be others not within my view range. I didn't expose anything there. Let's see. This guy needs to just get in here so he can heal. Worker. He's done doing worker things. Um, just looking around to see where else he can go and what he can do. Not a whole lot of places or things to do. Um, just come over here and do something. Holy cow, look at that thing. <laughs> Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. Um, we're going to put him in the water. He's going to kind of just work his way over. I 
I think. Xeno Calvary, Xeno Swarm. So they do, f they have 54. So these are a really good tank, probably. Um, I was trying to look and see. Because uh, this is my... Oh, that's my combat strength. Okay, that's not my life force. Um, goodness gracious, what do I want to do? I probably want to get them positioned up close. Going to... Ah, uh, heck, let's just... Let's just go ahead and declare it. Got to do it anyway. So let's just take the action. Okay, so this guy can just fire on them. We can weaken that down before we start moving units in. Um, so we're ready for next turn. Let's just go ahead and move you up, move you up. And let's just start moving down. Okay. Um, and you used up all your moves, right? Yeah, okay. This guy is going to just kind of take this back road here and see what else there is. Um... Anybody else that needs to come down and join the fight? No, not the moment. Okay, so next turn. Oh, a worker with some needing something to do. Let's just build another farm. Uh, next turn again. Oh boy. So let's see. I know last time I was kind of top chatting on game plans and stuff almost to that house buying step though finding things aren't quite uh, working out the same way I expected so trying to decide what we want to do there you know interest rates fluctuate and therefore your initial calculations don't turn out to be the final calculations unfortunately um, hey I you know and anyway whatever we do it's going to take a lot of transitioning and so I'm hopeful that by say April I'll be ready to uh, try to be a little more consistent here with um, let's see what is that a shredder marauder a shredder um, you yeah, know be a little more consistent with uh, uploads and maybe run a more than just one game at a time. I really would like to run more than one game at a time. Does he seriously like move after that turn? That is sweet. Um, so definitely, if there's things that you are curious about and would like to uh, see, you know, different games you like to see me play. Um, let me know. Um, if I've got it, I will certainly give it a shot. If I don't have it yet, well then, maybe I'll get it. Let's move this guy down here. I'm going to bring that Titan up right on this oil slot. And, you know, after I've kind of gotten, every, you know, gotten everybody in to distract and move in from there. And that should be fun. Let's go ahead and get an attack in out of this guy. Should just about do that unit in. Destroyed it. Fantastic. Okay. Um... 
I'm hesitant to move in too far. Because I don't want to get blasted by the city just yet. I want to try to put some some ranged attack on the city. Um, let's see. Okay, so now I'm getting to see a little bit more of what he's got at, or what she's got out here. Um, some marines, artillery, a little something to deal with, but. Uh, Hopefully we'll be all right. Let's see, how are we on money? We could probably buy something here pretty soon. Um, what else do we have building? There's erection device, mine stem. Uh, we need to produce something over there. Oh yeah, should have seen that coming. I should have redirected that trade unit, shouldn't I? Um, I'm not sure if it's worth it to build more units from back here. What is that building? Network. Um, well, it's tempting. Let's get another Centaur up and running. Probably wouldn't hurt to have another another missile strike unit coming in here pretty soon. Alright, so next turn. Man, we are burning through time. Almost halfway through this episode and Yeah, I know. I cast aside the humanity or whatever your bull blocks are. Yeah. It's interesting. She's not really doing much to attack on me, though. Well, take that back. There's an attack. Fighting with a unit that really can't handle it. Better than see gained. So I can heal it back up. I think it's probably, when I'm in the middle of this battle, I think healing it back up is, oh, wow, I had four turns left, and, ah, stole science, sweet, so nanorobotics is done, another upgrade, um, let's first, let's check out our victory log thing here. We are 50% of the way to Transcendence. Now we need to construct the Mind Flower. So, we will get that rolling as fast as we can. So we siphon 958 energy, undetected. We stole 1045 science undetected. Awesome. And we're up to three and a half intrigue, which means we could potentially. We're going to take our shot at, at recruiting defectors there. And in this town, we still only have that one intrigue. So we'll just keep trying to siphon energy because, hell, I mean, that was pretty handy. Let's go ahead and heal him up. Because, um, I mean, seriously. That much means... Oops, didn't mean to do that. Just out of curiosity what all is available to us here. Got enough money, I can buy another Xeno Titan. That would probably make me pretty scary. <laughs> I have to think. Um, there we go. Now, can you? No, I didn't think you could. Progenitor Garden, thirty percent. So okay. Oh, that's really tempting to get another. I'm gonna I'm gonna hoard my money for the moment. I think. Um. Let's address our upgrades before we do any attacks. Cause yeah, here we go. Poseidon gets an upgrade. 
can heal even outside or 50% chance to scatter attacked unit to another tile. Hmm. We'll go with the heal. Centaur became a Minotaur. So, boost, big boost in strength and everything. And also, 50% chance to scatter. Minus one setups before attacking. Oh, that's awesome right there. Evolve Xeno Calvary. Big boost here. 40% win in Miasma and attacking and defending. 40% when not next to friendly. Let's get that miasma boost. Oh, that's fantastic, man. Look at that. Okay, so. This guy can basically annihilate them. But also, this guy could annihilate them. So let's do that. I'm going to one hit them. Move him up there. Oh, I still can't hit the city? Don't have any moves left there. Got to move there, but I'm afraid of what? The city's going to do to me. I'm gonna move back one because I just don't. I don't want to take the hit from the city right now. Uh, let's see. Thing. Okay. I still can't stink and hit that city. What in the world? Okay, well, that's alright. We can pillage that and heal up a little bit. And then go on defense. Move there. And who is this? Our worker. Worker already. Hasn't made anything there. Let's just build a node and make some money. Alright. We're going to try to go around here without getting hit by Tianyong. Shredder, how far can he fire? Perfect. And let's go on defense. Move up one there. Okay. Any more units that can move? No, it doesn't look like it. Because, yeah, I've just kept that one on defense. He's going to move up here. And, yep, no one else do anything. Okay, let's choose our production. Purple needs. Xeno Nursery. And research. Well, considering we've done everything we absolutely need um, so science advisor suggests this one production carrier magrail Let's see vacation hypercomputing go this way we can get our rocktopus that's fun 
I like that they threw in something here and there that was, you know, very just silly or goofy or fun. Plus 10 healing for all units. That wouldn't take long to get that. So let's just do that. Let's do bionics and then, then do tissue engineering. And then, just in case we have a need for it, we'll do the defense grid and then synergistics and designer life forms. Just because, why not build a octopus? So I guess I don't need to focus science quite as much anymore since um, I probably need actually, let's go up here and look at peace. Um, I believe I should make sure I've got all, yeah, for instance, let's see, what happens if I turn that one off and turn that one on? Yeah, there we go. I think more production is going to do us more good now then the science will. So like, turn this one off and turn that one on. And, sorry, resurrection device, six turns. Okay, I don't know if that's more or less than it was before. And then we probably should go, whoops, wrong direction, go over here to love and make sure its production is well addressed. Like, yeah, we don't want that one, we want that one. And I think that's the only change really worth doing right now, but um, science isn't quite as necessary. Production is definitely necessary, especially for cities like that one which are um, close to this front line. I gotta produce things that, that are gonna come into play here um, in our newly created War with Purple. I haven't even taken the time to figure out what her name is. That's terrible, right? <laughs> anyway, um... My timer's up, but I really want to just take one more turn here into this, uh, this little war of ours.